your um, your thing up here. Everyone, get your books out. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Everyone quiet down. Shh. Rita, don't talk to him. Just pay attention. Remember when your little cats are there and you want them to pay attention? Well, Sunday's over. Monday's over. And now we're in a Tuesday. And we're all very lucky because God let us live through the night and we're here. And that's a really nice thing to do. Um, we talk about studios every day. Today we're going to highlight today's studio, which is 20th Century Fox. This is a wonderful studio. Um, about a year ago, I was in Saks Fifth Avenue, and I was buying some fragrances for my housekeepers. And of course, I use them, but I act like I'm just buying them for them. So, you know, it seems better. And so there was a lady at the fragrance counter, and she said, my God, what fragrance do you have on? And I told her the name of it. It's a very old fragrance called Val de Versailles. It's from France. Uh, it was actually created for Marie Antoinette. It's one of the oldest and most beautiful fragrances around. So she says to me, what do you have on us? And I told her. She said, where do you get us? You can get it right here. And she got, I want the biggest bottle. I love this. So we chatted a while. She says, you know, I've seen you on TV for so long. And you're so funny. You're so nice to people. And it really was a pleasure meeting you. So she left. And I looked outside in the parking area. And this massive white Rolls Royce was right there in front. And this little lady got in. She was dressed beautifully. And her jewelry and makeup, it turned out to be Shirley Temple Black. Oh. And um, I'm telling you, you should see how she looked. Now, it's been a few things happened in there. But she was gorgeous and so lovely. And I didn't know who it was. So when then I went back to the counter, she, uh, she said, do you know who that was? And I said, no. And she says, look at her American Express. So I copied the number down. And I went, <laughs> And I bought myself a big $800 freaking bottle at Belle de Versailles. 20th Century Fox did all of the Shirley Temple movies. They also did all the Roger and Hammerstein musicals. This studio did Cleopatra, The Sound of Music, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and Star Wars. So this is a very major studio that we honor today as part of our Hooray for Hollywood Cruise to Lose. Um, let's now go over to page 77, if you would. Let's go over our schedule. How many are getting out in Cabo? How many going? Okay. Please come back before you, for your class. Because I think I'll be wearing... Hmm. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Surprise. No, I'm not. I'll give you a hint. Feathers. <laughs> Feathered wings. Black feathered wings. Um, do we get breakfast this morning? Do we go to that same room from yesterday? Where do we go? Oh my god, I can't go. I'll starve. I can't go to the Lido. What? The gold pearl? I don't think it's open. Huh? No. You got something slipped under your door about gratuities. Uh, you already paid them. Like I said, everyone's been tipped. Everybody's been tipped. Your waiters, your bus boys, the, the two people that take care of your room. and You know, sometimes you all leave your doors open. And I walk past them. What does your freaking ass house look like? Jesus, those rooms. Really. Um, I, well, after Rise and Shine, we're going to have uh, breakfast somewhere. 
and 9.30, we're going to Cabo San Lucas. Remember, it is hot there and humid there. So use your sunscreen or wear a hat uh, or stay in the shade. Then you'll have your, your leisurely lunch buffet on that lovely Lido. 3.30 is our uh, exercise class all done to music from movies. What'd I say? At 3 o'clock, shut up Elijah. These lights are in my eyes. I'm just a move like Jagger. Oh, wake up. Huh? Wake up. I've been up since 4. Oh. I you know I love to do not in this group, but I like to go to different floors and just run and knock on everybody's door and then then disappear. I know I only did like 30 doors this morning, but I have a lot more to go this week. So three o'clock is your exercise class. The ship will sail at six o'clock, so please be back on. Um, and at 6 o'clock, we're going to have our group dinner in the Gold Pearl restaurant. And then we're coming back into this room at 8 o'clock. If you all are not drunk for margaritas and all smell like guacamole and cilantro. Um, and we're going to have a nutrition lecture, but it's done at a game show called Hollywood Squares. So we're going to pick six, you know, I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. Eight. We're going to pick eight people to represent these famous people in the Hollywood Squares. And then we're going to start to learn a little bit about more about nutrition. Yes, Kathy? Or Hollywood Squares? Nine. Well, I'm the center. Do you mind? Uh, okay, first I said three. You know what? You all are real bitches today. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> Can't make a mistake. They just... Yeah, baby. I'm confused. I've been confused on this. What is that? It's our yellow sheet of where we're supposed to be. And on Tuesday, it says we're in Cabo, and it says we're sailing at 6. Yeah. And if you look at Wednesday, it says we're in Cabo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Amazing grace. How sweet. Was the was the was the mistake on my booklet or theirs? It's neither. Well, let's just talk about today, shall we? Let me just focus on one day at a time. If you have a platinum key card, go directly to guest services when you're ready to go ashore. You'll be escorted to the tender. Okay? Yes. Now, I don't know exactly what escorted to the tender means. <laughs> but if you like somebody, just find a gift. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about our word of the day, please. What was the first word of the day? Pardon me? Okay, what was the second? Okay. Our word of the day today write it down please, is A-list. A-list. What is an A-list? An A-list is a list or group of the most admired or desirable people as for a job or social gathering. Hollywood A-list actors, the studios, best movies, as opposed, you always heard about B-movies and C-movies. Um, you get an A. You get an A, and I'll tell you why. Some of you had to make great sacrifices to come on this cruise and be with people that you love and meet new people and get support. So you're not on the B list, and you're certainly not on the C list. You're an A. And I've been watching you all. You're getting an A in your eating, for most of you. And certainly you're getting an A in exercise. But there's one more thing I need you to get an A in during this week. And that is an A in being a positive, having a positive attitude. It is so easy to slip and beat up on ourselves. But if you keep knowing how important you are and that you're one of a kind, you know, God could have made you a rose 
that lasts seven days. Or he could have made you a butterfly that only lasted four weeks. But he gave you human life with emotions and feelings. So what a blessing that we'd be able to be in this room in our 20s, 30s, 40s. All our fifth, all right, fifties. They want it all. Seventies, eighties. Nineties. So always, always, always think that you're an A. Even if people think you're a B or a C, that's only one person's opinion. And sometimes, all it takes is one person's opinion to make you feel bad about yourself. Why do people say mean things to us and put us on B and C lists? First of all, I don't think people think before they talk. I think they just get this thought in their mind and they say it. And we have to forgive them. But you can't let anyone affect you to having a negative attitude. Because unfortunately, when you have a negative attitude, it goes in all aspects of your life. In your work, in your play, in your relationships, and in everything. So today, as you spend the day, you got to say, I am an A. And that way, you're always feeling good about yourself. Look, I get negative thoughts and sad thoughts too on this cruise. I think we all do. But I think you just have to snap out of it and just count your blessings and see how fortunate we all are. I told you a couple days ago that each one of you represents thousands of people who could not come on this cruise. Many of them are housebound. Many of them cannot walk. Many of them are not working right now. But that's why it's important for you to feel good about yourself. Last night, as they were trying to find that's a more for crying out loud, I did a 15-minute stand-up routine with lovely children. Tonight, I'm dressing as Maria Von Trapp. You'll like the outfit. It's the one where she's on the hill spinning. But let's face it. No matter what your age is, we're all still kids. Don't grow up all the way. It's not good. Always be in touch with your childhood and the memories of your childhood. And if you didn't have good memories as a child, then make them up. <laughs> really. Um, I would go to school, grammar school, and they, we weren't... We didn't have a lot of money, and um, some of the kids in school came from more affluent families. So when they said something, I go, that's nothing. I said, my grandfather began Simmons Mattress, and we are extremely wealthy, but my parents are very conservative. And they go, really? And they'd all run home to see what kind of mattress their parents had. You know what? We, we got one of those Simmons mattresses. I go, thanks. <laughs> if you're going to go out, please do not go out alone. If you're thinking of going out, how many people in this room have nobody to go out with? Raise your hand. Okay, we have just Judy? Well, Judy, you'll find some people to go with. Oh, who's that back there? And you have nobody? Okay, and you have nobody. And you have nobody. Uh, stand up, the people that have nobody to go with. I want you to uh, stand up, stand up. If you have no one to go with, I want you to look around the room and I want you to embrace them. And, um, you know, maybe ask them to go with you. And if they're not a lot of fun, just dump them. <laughs> the best way to dump somebody, let me explain. Uh, you say, excuse me, I have to find a restroom. All right. And then you disappear. And that would be it. 
never don't do that, please. But, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to go out with anybody, you know. Whatever it is, I don't want you to go out alone. You know, Mexico is not really, well, it's not like it used to be. And um, I don't know. This, we didn't go to Mazatlan because of they're beheading people. And you know, when I'm buried, I'd like to have my head and my body together rather than a small coffin for my head and then sort of a medium for my body. He said, how do you have a wake? Wow, you look, wow, hey, head, hey, body. How are y'all doing? And then you get up to heaven and you have no head. And then you just walk around headless with a bunch of white wings and and everyone calls you headless. And, oh, you don't want to go through that. Uh, pardon me? Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, you've given us another day. Day three on this cruise. Please watch over everyone today as they eat, as they walk, as they sweat with me. And have dinner and play a game show to learn about nutrition. Also, dear Lord, please bless everyone's family because I know their families miss them. And of course, please watch over our pets as they are part of our extended family. Again, dear Lord, thank you for bringing this wonderful group of people together so that I can just kiss and slobber with all week. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that was that. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this this morning. Remember one word, one thing, one initial, and that initial is A. I'll see you all on the...